mate, how come you can organise marches, right? We can get the governor there, the governor general there, the governor general can come on Anzac Day and say, this is the real Anzac Day with the <laughs> Aboriginal people. How come you can get all those people, you can get some prime ministers, all of that, and nothing happens? <laughs> How come? How come you've got all these people on your side and nothing happens? It depends on where you're looking for things to happen because some... It's... it's, it's to me, we're living in a democracy. Most of the stuff happens at a grassroots level. I mean, look what you're yeah. doing here. Look, this is yeah. amazing. Yeah. This, this has got nothing to do with politics. This is, this is with everything to do with being human, being down there in the, with, with the people. But isn't, isn't that what politics is supposed to be? Oh, no, it's, it's, it's gone south. Forget politics. <laughs> but what I mean, I know what you're what I mean is, like... Oh, no. I, I get on the radio and I say, you know, the, the Aboriginal people were shot and poisoned and this and that and the other. And people respond back and say, well, I didn't do it. And I say, no, but your ancestors did. And, and then they say, well, we came from another country, blah, 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 all of this sort of stuff. How come in 2022 you had the statement from the heart, which really touched me. Every time I go... Every time I get upset, every time I go to meetings with Aboriginal people and Indigenous people and I meet with them and all of that, I get in touch with roots that are really serious and deep and powerful. Mm. How come, how come somehow the political leadership doesn't do anything? <laughs> if only I had an answer to that, I'd probably become a, a multi-billionaire and uh, declare war on Russia. <laughs> How stupid are people? I mean, uh, it is a good question. I mean, they're there to make policies. Uh, I, I know when you make policies, uh, you have to set up a bureau, bureau, bureaucracy to, to manage that money or whatever it is and that project. I remember once there was a... a wonderful guy who came to us, he just came back from Africa and he had just arranged for these communities to have clear drinking water in their communities. So, so he came out there into the desert with us in the remote communities there where they're living off the ball water. And uh, he just wanted to make sure that that water was clean. Yep. Because most of the people would go down the shop and buy a bottle of Coke rather than buy a bottle of water. Or, or they, if there was water there, it'd be expensive. But he said to get government permission, he went through 14 layers of bureaucracy. And still at the 15th, he still didn't get an answer. Why? Because everybody knows that's wrong. It, 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 it's, everybody is saying the buck doesn't stop here, I suppose. Where does the buck stop? Do you feel this country is still overtly racist? Oh, definitely, yeah. yeah. How? <clears throat> How? It's just racist. I mean, um, I, you know, the, the, there's four, four attitudes that I've come against in, in my dealings with the, just not, not only with the general public but also with the church and with the governments. Those four attitudes are arrogance. Oh. The other one is uh, hypocrisy. The other one is apathy. And the other one is, I just, oh, what was it? What do I say? Hypocrisy, arrogance. Oh, I'll think of it shortly. Ignorance? Ignorance, yeah, that's it, yeah. Ignorance, those four attitudes are, are there all the time. And they, they, they're the ones that create this wall that we keep on coming up against in terms of trying to get through that. And if we could break through that, we could probably see each other as human beings rather than through the lenses of um, colour or whatever, whatever prejudices they might have towards another person. Um, so what would you want to see from me as a white comic? I just want to... What, what, what I want it from anyone including yourself, it's just that we can sit down like human beings. We're all made in God's image. Why can't we just celebrate that together 
and start from there rather than from you're a white man, I'm a black man. The moment I, you put yourself into a category, I have to respond to your category, not to your humanity. Yeah.